Today we're going to make a holiday soap. And uh, first thing I'm going to show you is, and I don't know if you're familiar with it or not, but this is soap calc. This is a great little tool that you use when you're making soap to um, ensure that you have the proper oils and uh, lye. This is going to be a video on basic soap making techniques and getting started. So I have up on the screen here uh, a program called Soap Calc. It's free. It's uh, www.soapcalc.net and then you just choose at the top um, At the top, you'll choose, um, now my computer's going to be stupid, uh, where you can calculate the recipe. So, and there are many videos uh, available to teach you how to use the soap calculator. So feel free to go ahead and, and check those out. Um, on my uh, soap calculations that I've printed out, what I look for in a soap is I like the hardness to be uh, pretty, pretty substantial because it makes for a good long-lasting bar of soap. So my recipe on hardness is 51 on cleansing it's 35 so you see the range the range is here this is where you want to have your recipe turn out as you know and this is your blend of oils see there's my blend of oils and your lye there's the the lye is there. You see it has ounces and grams. So you use whatever oils you have on hand. I have quite a quite an assortment. And you just calculate it using the soap calc and uh, you'll get um, the properties that you want in your soap. So today we're just making a regular Christmassy scented soap and this is my liquid oils that I've put together and here's the lye and what I've done today is I'm using a Himalayan pink salt in my um, soap because it really really makes it nice what I do, what I did with this one is I mixed a uh, half a cup of water, I mean a half a cup of salt with my water allowance, Himalayan pink salt with my water allowance, and I kind of mixed that around. I heated it up a little bit, tried to um, get the salt to dissolve a little bit before I added my lye to my water. And so that's what we have here is my lye, salt, and water combination. So that's all ready to go and then my liquid oils are ready to go and um, my heated oils, the hard oils, are um, cocoa butter, I uh, use some palm kernel flakes and coconut oil. Those are all my hard oils. And um, I use stearic acid in my soaps. Uh, I use 4 grams per 
38 ounces of oils. So it comes out uh, much harder and it lasts much longer, but it's not so hard that it's all brittle and nasty. So that's what I've got in here. And I did put in uh, some pearlizer that I had on hand to kind of give it a nice shiny type um, consistency. You know, almost like there's diamond dust or something in it. So that's what we have here. And I am going to, see there's my stick blender, everybody should have a stick blender if you're making soap because that is really the only way to do it and do it well and you'll see in a minute. Now you should be wearing protective gear like gloves and uh, goggles if you have them, if you feel like you can't do it without splashing it everywhere. I don't normally use them because I'm pretty good at taking care to not um, get it all over me. So I'm getting out my soap mold now. I should have done that before, but I did. So I, what I use is the soap mold from Brambleberry. It's the birch mold with the uh, silicone insert, which I love because it's so incredibly easy to use. It's one of my absolute favorite um, soap molds. And it holds, it does 18 bars, so um, we're taking this from the beginning here, and I'm going to show you how I kind of put the um, pieces together. It's kind of hard with one hand, but I will do my best. So here you go. Just got to get one started. There we go. There. And they fit really neat together. I'm not sure what they cost anymore because I bought this a while ago. So, I don't know. Man, I'll tell you though, it's so, so nice. So much nicer than uh, using the loaf molds. I just absolutely love it. Love it. And then you don't have